Hello and welcome back to part 7 of this guide to preferences inside Photoshop Elements. I have opened before me the Units and Rulers screen and you can get to it in Elements 8 by hitting Control K, Control 6 on the keyboard. If you're using a Mac that's Command K, Command 6. Alright, so the first option relates to the units of measurement we employ for rulers, the type tool and the printing screens. So first up are the rulers and my recommendation here is to change this from whatever is your default to pixels and the reason I'd suggest that change is because the other units like centimeters and inches tend not to translate well to computer screens whereas pixels are ideal because your screen is made up of them and therefore they can give a true representation of measurement and before we move off rulers that unit of pixels can be easily changed from inside the document so let me show you how to do that I'll click the OK button to make those changes and if your rulers aren't showing up then hit the keyboard shortcut Control shift or command shift on the Mac and then the letter R you can also do that by going up to the view menu and selecting the rulers command anyway to change the unit of measurement now we can right click in the rulers themselves and if you're using a Mac that's an option click and then select the unit we require alright so let's go back to preferences so control or command K and then control or command 6 alright next up is the type tool units and I suggest this one is best left to points because that's more of an industry standard and pretty much everybody out there on the planet is using that form of measurement for type next up we have the print sizes that relates to how Photoshop measures the document when you're looking at printing it so this will affect measurements such as the one in the print dialog box and even though I'm more comfortable with centimeters as a form of measurement in this particular instance I'd go with inches because my mind is able to relate more easily to 4x6 photographs and 7x5 photographs rather than their metric equivalents alright next up is the column size options and these are really only going to come into play if you're working with or going to import to some kind of page layout program such as Quark Express or InDesign so if you're creating a multi-page newsletter for instance you can input the size of the columns and the width of the gutter which is the space occupied by the inside margins of each two page spread including the binding of the pages so if you have a specific measurement for your project you can enter them here along with the preferred unit but I'm not working with a page layout program so I'm gonna leave this as is next up are our new document preset resolutions and resolution in Photoshop is only applicable when printing and it's not going to cause a problem if you change resolution halfway through a project because resolution is a measurement of how many pixels are printed to each square inch of the page so by changing the resolution you're never adding or subtracting pixels but you are changing the quality of final output if you want more information on resolution and image size then I'll add a link to the page this page that you're on right now directing you to two tutorials I recorded a while back on the subject so check them out if you want to know more for now I'd suggest leaving these values as they are either 267 or 300 pixels per inch seem to be the standard for print and 72 for screen although I will add that most new monitors display upwards of that figure these days but 72 is going to be just fine unless you have a specific reason to change it finally photo project units refers to the measurements displayed when using this create button up here on the right hand side so when you're creating some kind of decorative or artistic project using that screen you're going to be asked if you want to work in millimeters and centimeters uh, or inches I think I'd be inclined to have this set to inches but again go for whichever measurement you feel more comfortable using and that wraps up another one hope you found that helpful and I'll see you in the next video to explore guides and the grid